Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Schumacher here from attentionarbitrage.com here today to show you guys the uh, dashboard I set up in Google Sheets that I use to track my um, e-commerce ad spend and return on ad spend for Skyline Workshops. It's a, a website that I manage um, and also to show you guys the steps that I took to take Skyline Workshops from about $70 to uh, just over $9,500 in sales in eight days. Um, so obviously I'm logged in here. It says, good afternoon, Timothy. Obviously that's not my name. Um, that's my former business partner and good friend's name. Um, and I guess just a, a little backstory on that. So uh, uh, Tim Camp, uh, former business partner, we, we started a, a paddleboard importing company together. Um, and uh, a good friend of mine, he owns Skyline Workshops. Um, and uh, about Oh, a year, a year and a half ago, he started this um, company, uh, laser engraving uh, various products um, and had quite a bit of success selling them on eBay, Etsy and Amazon. Um, and he had a website, but it was it was pretty terrible. And he was selling maybe like one product a month through it. Like the website was just terrible. Um, and so at the time back in July, I didn't have a lot of time, but I just said, hey, like, let me just redesign your site, um, optimize it for conversions a little bit. Um, and then I just set up what, what I like to call an e-com profit automation um, AdWords campaign set up. Uh, just set up AdWords and then set up simple uh, Facebook retargeting, retargeting all, all website views and abandoned carts. And so basically just having a completely um, automated uh, system, completely hands off uh, to just see what would happen to the site. And so, I don't know, I spent maybe five or 10 hours in total uh, redesigning the site, setting up the AdWords and setting up the Facebook retargeting. Um, and then it, it ended up consistently earning between 500 to a grand a month, I think. Um, let's see here. So I started uh, running the ads in July. So like in June, yeah, there was there was eighty one dollars in sales. There were two orders the entire month of June. Um, so then I redesigned the website and uh, started running that um, the ecom ads to it in July. And July saw um, I must have started running it around the middle part of July. But July saw around three hundred dollars in revenue. Um, and then August, this thing started to ramp up a bit. Twelve hundred in revenue. Um, September. 1300 in revenue in October, if I remember, was a down month a little bit. Yeah, $800 in revenue. Uh, so anyways, uh, you know, not not fantastic, but his margins are, are pretty great. And um, considering the fact that, you know, it took 10 hours total to set up and I, I never optimized or, or really touched the accounts again, pretty solid return on the time invested. But anyways, a couple weeks ago, um, I told Tim that, you know, Obviously, he was selling well. Obviously, we were leaving money on the table with this website. And so I told him that I wanted to start running some serious traffic to the site. Uh, so I flew out to his house. We spent the weekend kind of talking shop, uh, worked out you know, what this would look like, uh, worked out an agreement. And basically, I took over the site and uh, started running um, paid traffic much more aggressively towards it. Um, and let me see, I'm going to show you results for, uh, this or this previous month. Today is December 1st. Uh, I'm going to show you results for the month of November and, uh, look and see if you can tell the day that I started, uh, really running Facebook ads. Uh, so, so yeah, as you can see, it's pretty apparent, uh, when I started, when I kind of came on and started running uh, traffic to the website. Um, you can see it's pretty much hockey sticks up and to the right. Um, and yeah, um, you know, obviously it was, it was pretty successful. I pulled in, uh, just over $9,500 in revenue in eight days. Um, and you know, obviously that's going to make a great case study and I'm actually putting together uh, a case study for you guys, much more in detail, in detailed, uh, in depth going over exactly what I did. So if you want to be notified of that, um, either click the link in this video, if, if one pops up, uh, in the description down below, uh, or in the first comment, or just go to attentionarbitrage.com. Um, and sign up for my free uh, three-step Facebook ads scaling system if you want to be notified of that case study as it comes up. Um, uh, th that's, that's where I'll notify everyone first when I do release that here in the next probably week or so. But that's not the purpose of the, this video. The purpose of this video is actually just to show you guys uh, real quick 
how exactly I keep track of managing my ad spend and ROI and how I monitor performance in a way that, um, you know, gives me the information that I need, but doesn't take all day just pulling data and pivot tables and reports and all that nonsense that is easy to get bogged down in. So this is the uh, dashboard I set up in Google Sheets. Um, again, it's just real high level stuff. Um, you can see here, I just have some baseline metrics that I was, I, I just pulled some baseline metrics for the month of October and the first part of November until I started um, running ads, Facebook ads to it. Um, at which point I started tracking it daily because obviously, uh, you know, on, on that, that automated system that I had set up, there's really no maintenance needed. But uh, as, as anyone knows who has scaled up um, intensively in Facebook, it's important to monitor those things on a daily basis because things can uh, go south real quick. And so you can see here, I just have um, revenue, which is just revenue from the Shopify store. Unique visits, I pull this from Google Analytics. Um, and so I just manually enter that. You, you can set Google Sheets up to automate that, but I like to manually enter it because it forces me to actually look at the data um, and helps prevent uh, anything slipping through the cracks. Revenue per unique visitor. This is just a calculation to see how much money we're making um, on average per visitor to the website. This helps me see that in theory, as long as I'm paying less per click, um, then I should remain profitable or at least break even um, on that cost to acquire a, a customer. Um, now a little more advanced strategy, you may actually be perfectly willing to take a loss on that first customer knowing that you're going to make it up on the back end with remarketing and email. Um, a lot of big name companies will do this um, and, and, and smaller time companies as well, but a lot of um, e-com companies are willing to lose up to $100 just to acquire a customer and they know that they're going to make that back on the back end with uh, email promotions and remarketing. But you know, for us, this is pretty fantastic. We're, we're making a very solid profit and acquiring an email list, um, which is, is just the cherry on top. Uh, Facebook ad spend, this is, again, just pulled straight from Facebook ads. Um, AdWords ad spend, same thing. Pinterest ad spend, I just added in this column because I'm kind of just uh, testing out Pinterest. I've never actually run serious traffic through Pinterest, and so it's just an experiment for me that, you know, I'm sure I'll be sharing with you guys the results of that once we get some more data. And then total ad spend here, this just uh, sums up uh, these three columns. Um, and then total ROAS, ROAS stands for return on ad spend, which is simply um, revenue divided by uh, ad spend. And so, you know, obviously there's more detail that I could add here, um, but there's really no need to for me because this is just a very high level. The whole point of uh, dashboards and reporting is to show you the information that you need to make decisions and nothing else. Um, and this does that. This shows me at a very um, high and quick glance how I'm performing for that day and if there's any serious red flags that I need to look into. Um, if there are, then the actual reporting and analytics features within the ad platforms themselves, whether that is uh, Google AdWords or Facebook ads, are, are more than good enough to actually go dig in, find the information that I actually need uh, to analyze and then make a decision from there. There's, there's no point in duplicating all of that in a spreadsheet and then just having this massive spreadsheet and you're taking, you know, an hour and a half, two hours a day just to update it. That's a waste of everyone's time. This takes me, you know, five minutes in the morning. All I do is I open up the tabs, um, take a look at my website, uh, pull in the revenue from the previous day, go over to uh, my Facebook ads. Uh, you can see here, this is these are the Facebook ads. So um, in the last eight days, you can see this, this is uh, just the stats that we've had. Um, all of my Facebook ad spend has been on uh, the same product. And as you can see, it all matches up with uh, this graph. And so in the last eight days, when I started running Facebook traffic, we generated $9,500. Um, in revenue, um, and so again, this is just this is just what I do to keep uh, keep track of things, keep a handle on things, um, and you know, it's it's important when you start scaling up into you know four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, uh, 
per campaign per day ad spend in Facebook, it's important to be monitoring that every day. And so you need uh, some sort of reporting system in place that forces you to take a look at that every day and will alert you if, if anything is out of whack um, so that you don't end up just lighting a bunch of money on fire. And this is a very simple, very lightweight way to do that that frankly anyone can implement. Um, so again, uh, that, that's just the only purpose I had for this video. Um, you know, if you guys want to be updated about more case studies like these, more screen shares, just go to attentionarbitrage.com, uh, and sign up there to receive my free, uh, three-step Facebook ad scaling and testing system. Uh, it's a system I've used to, uh, profitably run campaigns ranging from $2 a day to, um, over a thousand dollars a day. And, um, you know, like I'm, like I mentioned, I'm launching an in-depth case study about Skyline Workshop soon. And I'm actually considering uh, building a new e-com site from scratch and doing a weekly case study on that as I grow it uh, to you know five and six figures per month. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And I mean, if I get enough interest, I'll, I'll start that sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Uh, take care, keep hustling.